Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your uh, monthly forecast for December 2021. We're going to be covering love, wealth, and health. So guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Uh, also, if you'd like a person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. And also the Eye of Zen is back up on amazon.com and the link is in the description box below. I do have a holiday giveaway going on, so stick with me till the end for all those details. All right, let's jump right in here. All right, and also let me move this over a little bit. Okay. So what's going on with my Tauruses romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Tauruses romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Tauruses career and finance for December 2021. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So remember we're going to start with love then career and finance and then health and wellness and if you guys like it this way for your monthlies and your mid-monthlies hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in and also remember taurus you can check your moon your rising and your sun sign for more information your sun sign represents your soul your moon sign represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you so all three of these make up who you are so feel free to cross watch so remember we're first going to start with love and then we're going to move into your career and finance all right so also let me just get some cards for your love interest feelings so how does Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Taurus's love interest feel about them romantically? Give me two cards of advice, excuse me, two cards for their feelings and one card of advice for their romantic love life. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's put that there. Let me put this over here. That's better. Okay. So as you guys know, we're gonna start off, this is the beginning of December. This is the middle of December and this is the end of December. So that's how the parts are broken up here. Of course, we're gonna also look at it overall so we can see an overall uh, understanding of what's gonna happen for the full month here. So let's jump right in. So we see, okay, we got the Princess of Staves or the Page of Wands. We got the Two of Wands and we got the sun card energy okay some good cards so far okay so possibly an airy sagittarius leo energy it looks like someone is going to kind of flirt there's going to be some flirty stuff going on here with that page of wands energy and a choice being made towards this happiness i definitely feel like there's this playful energy because the sun card is a very optimistic happy kind of card and also it talks about big luck so you got the beginning of the month it looks like it's very lucky for you guys there's going to be a choice being made here because of this action that's being taken i feel like there's an action because of the fact that this uh page is on a sword on a sword on a horse <laughs> and um but anyway pages represent exploring some things passionate things okay and making that choice towards happiness there okay all right so let's keep going What's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career and finance for December 2021. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what is this page of wands about? Okay, star cards coming out. Oh my goodness, great cards. Okay, so the bear card tells me that someone's trying to be very nurturing, supportive in this flirty kind of energy, okay? And we see that there's a choice being made here because there's hopefulness that someone can fulfill their dreams here with the star card energy. And we see there's happiness here because of this movement, travel, or change in your situation. Also, the ship card can talk about somebody who's missing someone. So this person really is missing you. They're hopeful of a positive outcome. They really want to make a choice here. There is a happy outcome when it comes to this situation because there's a longing, missing kind of energy. Also, some of you are dealing with a long distance relationship here with the ship card energy, or there is going to be a choice being made towards traveling towards somebody here with the ship card energy, okay? We see that there's this supportive, nurturing energy and this flirty kind of energy going on. So it's gonna be some exploratory, flirty things happening, coming up here. So let's go into your love interest feelings okay so they do see you of something of value but they do feel like for some of you that unbalanced finances sometimes hinders the connection so we see 
this person has a strong, they're very obsessed with you, okay? They are obsessed. They are obsessively thinking about you, attached to you, okay? Let's see what your advice is for this coming month here. So we got the balance card. So you guys understand that there is something that needs to be brought into balance. This is like the temperance card for my card. So something needs to be healed. You need to be patient and wait for things to come into balance in your situation. And let's pull another card. Ah, see, there's the missing card coming out. Someone is missing you. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you're going to have a, have a conversation about this to bring things into balance, to heal the situation here, okay? As I said, the ship card can represent missing someone. Okay, so let's keep going. We got the Nine of Wands energy for the middle of the month here. We have the Emperor card energy and we have the Two of Pentacles energy. Oh my goodness, there's a power move that's about to be made here. Okay, so we see there's this defensive energy. I don't wanna get hurt. So this person's like putting their wall up and you know, there's a lot of growth around that, you know, a long time growth around just feeling like, all right, I've gotten hurt and, you know, I really need to be protective of myself. But it seems like because of that, there somebody is going to make a power move here um, to make a heavy choice here with the two of pentacles energy. What should I do? What should I do? I need to juggle this. I need to think about this. I need to make this choice. But it, this is a, a control card. So there is control being taken here to make this choice. Now let's see what more information about this. Anchor card bouquet card and mice card so this sense of stability and stableness is causing some defensive energy about getting hurt and there's an invitation here to take control or something surprising about this controlling kind of energy um, there's a worry around making this choice with the mice card energy coming out here surprising worry because of the stuck energy or stability and stableness and wanting not to get hurt Okay, so let's keep going here. So let's now move into the last part of the month here and then we'll bring it all together. Four of Wands, really good card. All right, we got the Wisdom card or the High Priestess card energy and we got the Five of Swords. So it looks like there is something to do with a stable relationship, marriage, some, something close to home here with the Four of Wands energy. Someone is keeping something secret here. There's some kind of secret about this defeated energy. Let's get more information here, okay. So there is an argument or fight because someone isn't telling the truth about their emotions. Okay, so be careful about this at the end of the month, okay? Because it looks like there is this stability and stableness, a stable relationship or there's arguments are about marriage, long-term commitment. And there's a fight about someone keeping something secret, not telling the truth about really what's going on with their emotions. And also the fish card also could represent money and finance. So there could be someone who's not telling, they might not be telling the truth about finances too. So be careful of that. So for some of you, it's gonna be finances. For others of you, it's going to be some emotional energy. But remember that uh, you are aware of the fact that this could uh, happen. So just, you know, control the way you react. That's the great thing about Tarot, right? It gives you a heads up. So let's come back to your advice. Something may lack balance when someone is missing you but you're gonna to have to have a heart to heart conversation on how to bring it into balance. So we see that there's arguments or fight about a house, stability and stableness, a stable relationship, hurt or pain because of something secret, because someone isn't telling the truth or being deceptive here. I feel like with the fish card energy and looking at the advice it has to do with emotions here, there's this defeated energy about a lot of emotions are at play here, which is causing this defeated energy. And we we're seeing that, I feel like it's the other person actually that's, having this hurt here because it's saying to you that you're going to have to bring this into balance and have a conversation with them because they may not understand where they stand in the connection with you. Okay, so we see that there's wanting to take control when it comes to stuck energy and having an argument, a fight or debate this point. There's this hopeful energy and wish and hope for an invitation or to socialize, but someone isn't telling the truth with the, the cat card energy. There's a longing here or travel movement change is causing some stress here in emotions. So going down another layer here, some flirty kind of energy or exploratory energy here is causing defensive energy when it comes to marriage, long-term commitment, or stability and stableness. There's a person who's going to make a choice to make a power move because of something secret here. There is a sense of happiness here and making a choice here, weighing a choice here, a heavy choice about a long term here when it comes to this defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? We see that 
Pages talk about potential or messages of this choice. So news or messages of this choice and, and happiness. And nines talk about what do I want here? I wanna take control of this situation and make a choice here towards stability and stableness. Something yet to be known or something secret or going to gain knowledge about this defeated energy. And then remember, you're gonna to have to have a card chart conversation with this person, okay? So Taurus, now let's move into your career and finance here. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords energy so far for the first half of the month. So it looks like you guys are gonna overcome any barriers that have been in your way in the past. Page of Pentacles tells me you're gonna get some good news about uh, long-term commitments. And Magician tells me you're going to have the power and everything that you need or you're manifesting some great things here with the Magician card energy. Going further, Moon card talks about success because of this letter message or document and this choice. Nine of Pentacles, you're gonna have all the money that you need and more to accomplish your goals here because of someone from the past. Six of Cups energy. Yeah, we see a person card coming out and a decision for improvements and changes here. So something to do with this person, okay, is making a decision. So it, it definitely looks like there's another person involved with the situation. This person, this is the middle of the month here. This person's making a decision for improvements and changes. Also the store card energy can talk about change of locations as well for some of you. And it looks like you're gonna have to make a choice about this because of someone from the past or something to do with the past. Okay, going further. Yeah, you got fortune on your side. Luck is on your side coming up at the end of the month. You're gaining that courage and strength and confidence. And you guys are gonna be doing a lot more planning and thinking about your situation here by the end of the month. We see the coffin card. It looks like you're gonna take a break here, take a rest. Um, but it does look like by the end of the month, you have luck on your side, okay, with the clover card energy. You guys are gonna take some kind of risk or gamble to gain some kind of knowledge to do better planning in your situation. Okay, so it says here, success, recognition from a person, something end stops or completes, or you take a break here. We see this letter message or document you're gonna to have to make a decision about when taking a risk or gamble on. This choice for improvements and changes, you're going to gain knowledge or you're gonna educate yourself more on the situation to give yourself a better understanding of what's going on. So let's go further on this. Page of Pentacles, uh, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles, you guys may get some advice from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, and that will allow you to take a leadership role because there's concerns about some regrets and holding on to a situation with the four pentacles energy and wanting to walk away from it. But it looks like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you will take a leadership role and you'll play politics here and you'll use your logic to speak your truth with the queen of swords energy. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, let me now move into your health and wellness here for December. Can I have some advice for my Taurus's health and wellness for December 2021? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so we see that you guys are going to get a boost in your energy here for this month. And also they're suggesting to go outside and be in the sunlight. So get outside more. And to also focus more on unconditional love here and joy. Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me to appreciate everything that makes me feel happy right now. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. There's multiple videos for you guys to go check out right now. We have the Silver Eclipse video. I have the extra turns, all signs. Is this the one? All signs is up and available. The lunar eclipse, their true feelings. All those are up and available for you guys to watch right now, as well as the weeklies. Yes, I've been, um, been doing a lot of filming, putting a lot up for you guys lately. Um, and also, I will see you guys in another day or two, so stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Uh, and also the, um, the holiday giveaway. So I'll be picking two people for a free personal reading and one person I'll be giving a holiday giveaway gift box. So all you have to do is put blessed and love in the comments below and I'll be picking two people. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month and I will see you guys soon.